In previous lessons in this section, we've started to take a look at how we can quickly apply formatting to data to make it more interesting and more readable. And in this lesson, I just want to show you a really quick trick when it comes to copying and applying formatting across different data sets. Now, if you take a look at the spreadsheet here, you can see that we have a table on the left that has some formatting applied. The heading row has some formatting. We've got some gray shading for all of the orders that have a status of pending. And also notice in the total column, we have some currency formatting applied. Now, it might be that I want to take this formatting and apply it to a different data set. So all I've done here is I've copied the data set. That's the data set you can see on the right hand side, but it doesn't have any of the formatting. Now I could go through, I could use auto format. I could then go in and manually apply some of these other formats, but that's going to take a really long time. So let me show you a quicker way of doing this using a utility in Excel called Format Painter. Now you're going to find the Format Painter icon on the home ribbon in the clipboard group. It's this little paintbrush icon just here. And when we hover over, we have quite a bit of information about the Format Painter. It says, like the look of a particular selection, you can apply that look to other content in the document. To get started, select the content with the formatting you like, click Format Painter and select something else to automatically apply the formatting. So let's deal with that first of all. Maybe I want to copy this formatting that we have in the header row across to the header row in the other data set. So what I could do here is click in cell B5. Let's use our keyboard shortcut, control shift right arrow to make our selection. And then I'm going to click the format painter icon. Let's click it. Now notice what immediately happens. We now get the marching ants around our selection. And when I move my cursor onto the spreadsheet, check it out. It's changed to a little paintbrush icon. So what we can do now is simply select the area where we want to apply the same formatting. So I'm going to select all of this row up here. And when I let go, it applies that formatting and the format painter deactivates. How simple was that? And you can use this method for any formatting that you want to copy. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Now, one thing to note here, one side copied this formatting across, the Format Painter deactivated. So let's take a look at that again. I'm going to select this row that has the gray shading. I'm going to click on Format Painter and I'm going to select this row in the table to copy the formatting across. So let's select this row again, but this time I'm going to double click on the Format Painter. So now when I go down to the next pending order, I can copy that formatting across, but notice the cursor is still showing that my paintbrush or my format painter is activated. So I can carry on painting. I can go to the next one, select it, and then finally go to the last one and select that as well. So I stay in format painter mode. Now, when you've finished and you want to deactivate and just go back to your regular cursor, you can either click on the Format Painter icon again or simply press the Escape key on your keyboard. Now, one final thing to note here, it will copy across all of the formatting from the selected cells. So notice that because in the table on the left, I have currency format applied to the totals, it's also copied across the currency formatting just here. And you'll find that if you just want to copy across the currency formatting, if we select these cells just here, click on the Format Painter once and copy that across to Total, that's going to allow us to copy that formatting across. And also notice that because we've copied that entire column of formatting, I now have that bottom border, but it's applied to just column O. So once again, if I want to take that entire border, I could select everything just here, click on Format Painter, and paint that across to apply that formatting. So you can carry on using your Format Painter until your heart's content. I'm just going to do the price per unit as well. And now we should find that everything in the table on the right looks exactly the same as the table on the left. So utilizing Format Painter is a lot quicker when you have a lot of formatting to copy across.
Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for Beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.